Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, I got the episode review. So I tried doing this a much easier way, whereas I re recorded my thoughts as I watched the episode to try to get some clips to make it more lively. Unfortunately, that didn't work, but as I said in the last one, at the end of the season, at the start of next, the episode reviews are going to be moved to Sunday morning, probably, or Sunday afternoon, because I want to do a lot more with this, being it is sort of what I really like to do on this channel besides theories of the content and um that type of stuff with fortnite so yeah this will be be moving over to sunday mornings unfortunately there's not a lot i can do with it being released so late at night and i really don't have a lot of time to record watch and edit everything cram pack it it wouldn't get out until almost midnight so i'd much rather just release it the following morning and i'll see how that does for a while but let's get into the video guys all right so starting this video off we get i'm not going to talk too much about it because it is pretty late as of now but um we start off with a review of uh we start off by seeing chaos sacrificing himself again and we see the new relics um this episode was okay it wasn't great like i was hoping i was really hoping the fight would be good but it wasn't and past the chaos thing from this point forward there's spoilers ahead so if you haven't seen the new episode check my description down below and all right so yes we get chaos and sacrificing himself Aichi and Kai tell everyone pretty straightforward um they also see the relics coming in this actually happened before they inform everyone but everyone can see the relics or I, I'm assuming these people can see it as well um so the relics is revived we also get a brand new looking relics which was really nice I do like this relics actually it looks really cool so yeah, that's sort of what happened in the first section. And then everyone's eyes, um, I actually think this is meant to be at the end. It doesn't matter. That was my bad. Sorry. So Giza has all the cards now. And he's like, time to go. My son, it's time to leave. Or my brother, because he's his brother. So Kazuto takes him out. And then we start fighting. So literally from this point forward... There isn't too much interesting. The fight's pretty standard. One rides, one rides. We see Neo Giza, Neon Giza move to the G zone. He theorizes about the skill. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. This will allow me to, nope, it doesn't allow me to move forward. So yeah, the fight's pretty standard. Um, Like I said, it's back and forth. Every time he draws a trigger, a dragon appears. I don't know why these photos are so much smaller, but... We're going to have to live and deal with it. So I'm running out of time. I have to go to bed for work. So yeah, he draws two triggers. Two dragons show up. And he makes look getting Giza skill off super simple. Um, He attacks again. And then Kazuto's brother decides, well, you know what? I might as well make this fight worth interesting. So he dominates units with his new Vanguard, obviously. He attacks the vanguard. He has flashbacks. I'm just zooming through this. I'm sorry. So again, the guys, this well, not a lot happened. If you see the seen the episode, you pretty much you pretty much knew what happened. Um, this is a pretty straightforward episode. Um, so yeah, he attacks. He just has some flashbacks throughout the entire episode. Um, and then we see him striding to Giza. And call the Xeroth Dragons. And he talks about them for a minute. So honestly guys this fight was really futile. Like the entire episode was a decent filler. But that's all it was was a filler. And I hate calling it that. Because that means some people might think it was bad. But it's not. It was a good episode for what it was. And I want to take a moment to explain sort of things I don't have photos of. Because I didn't get a lot of photos from this this week. So, besides him doing that, there wasn't too much revealed. We saw some new units in Shadow Paladin. We saw really nothing new for New Gautama. And that was all. This fight wasn't anything spectacular. So, I mean... He attacks with Stark. And then he explains that, you know, we get to see Giza in its fullest... Um, honestly, I just, I didn't have a lot to talk about this week for this episode. And with it being the first one back, I'm kind of sad they delayed it by a week. So he takes, so he 
talks. He um, tells them what happens at the end of turn. So he rides Mu Mujin Ward, gives his gives three units 4k and tries to deal damage. It does nothing. There was just nothing he could do. So he does take he does inevitably take the one damage from each Xeroth Dragon, which there are five. And they all come forth into Megigo, which is just sort of waiting at the relics, which I found kind of cool, and just deals them a damage. And that's sort of it for the episode. I mean, overall, I rate this episode five, five out of ten, five cards out of ten cards, just cut or five zero dragons out of ten zero dragons, being that there's only six. I and mean, at that point, I could just do three zero dragons out of um, six. But things I wish they would have done better was make it seem like he had a chance at winning or you, you knew from the beginning of the episode that it was inevitable for this for this character to win his fight and that just made it sort of a letdown I mean next week's episode looks better um we do we do figure out that Kazuto is conscious and is being just his body is being controlled because he calls out to his brother at the end of the episode um, one thing I feel like Bushiro could have done better is let Kazuto's brother win and Giza take over him as a host, being he was one of the first defrighted. But I don't know. It's there's just there wasn't a lot of anything to this. We got lore about Kazuto and his brother for the story. That was it. That's I mean sure it's, it might be all we need, but I just felt like this fight was overall lackluster. And some people might have a different opinion. I mean, it does feel like I sort of just rush this, and I'm not rushing it. I just don't have a lot to talk about. I found it interesting that Xeroth Dragons appeared in different locations all over the world, like Egypt, New York, Hong Kong. But literally, he was just like, Stark appears in New York, and then that was the last time he stopped naming places. So it left us to guess where they were. Um, even though I don't have a screenshot of it, which I'm very sad, we do get to see the witch player from legion in this episode which was really nice um bushiro word of advice use her in your content because she's amazing and she deserves more screen time um i really don't know tell me what you guys thought of this episode but i felt really underwhelmed and i even said that in my discord just because it was overall i f i found this kind of fun I find this type of video fun to do, so I still wanted to post it being it was the first one back. But um, tell me what you guys were thinking down below in the comments. And guys, I will have a Fortnite video out explaining how I'm giving the PVE code away. It is in all the rules and everything like that. So please be patient. I was busy today. And that's about it. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.